Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to September's Stamp It Like It's Hot. And of course it's September so therefore it is also scrap timber organized by the lovely Scrappy Sisters here on YouTube and Laura Alberts here on YouTube. And for both Stamp It Like It's Hot and Scrap Timber. There are playlists. They will be listed down below. And the Scrap Timber playlist will be there throughout the entire month on any video that I do because I intend on tying it in, of course, to any project that I do. And today's prompt from Scrap Timber was perfect for the Stamp It Like It's Hot prompt because the scrap timber prompt is a white base and stamp it like it's hot was to create our own pattern paper and let me apologize straight off the bat because I just did this background and I'm showing it to you completed. I promise I will come back at some point this month and do one for you but I really I had this idea in my head after watching uh, Shannon's video, her share video, I think for the Shimmers uh, kit for this month, and there was a pattern paper in there that was just, well, they were all gorgeous, actually, but just absolutely gorgeous, and it looked like there was some watercolor on the background, and then some black and white florals on top, and I, I sort of had that in my head, and I thought, you know, I could do some packaging technique and oh I'm sorry all my windows are open it's very very early in the morning I don't quite know why there's so much noise out there sorry about that my friends so I went in and I got my color shine in peach and I just did the packaging technique all along the white cardstock and then some splatters to give a little bit of a different interest and you can see that I sort of made it come down quite heavily on the side here and then just you know branch out a little bit over the the top and the bottom here to give it I guess a little bit of a semi-circle type shape so I got my packaging technique then I went to look at my stamps and tried to decide what I was going to do. The first thing I did, of course, is choose my photo, and this will be going in Julia's album. As you know, I'm trying to complete her album, both hers and Adela's, actually, uh, this month, because generally I give them an album, one for their birthday and one for Christmas and their birthdays are in August, so I'm a little bit late. So there is this lovely photo. I found this stamp, and quite frankly, I'm not sure that I actually ever used it. Um, I think I don't have the packaging anymore, and I know I have a die set that goes with it, and I think this was from the ink row way back when. This is probably something that the lovely Sarah enabled me to get, I'm sure, way back when. But I'm not sure I had actually ever used it, so I thought I would use that for sure. And then I went into my Stampin' Up! stamps and I got this Climbing Roses out and I thought, ooh, that would be perfect sort of to start things off in the corners and then a couple of stamps here from Stampin' Up! as well to just maybe fill in at the end. So I started with... Um, the corners because that to me is sort of would would help give me the shape and get it started and i started with climbing roses and i used this lovely stamp it's a rubber it's a rubber stamp and i just sort of popped that up in the top corner and then in the bottom corner to sort of give it give it a start and what I do, of course, to stamp, and that's why I promise I will come back and show you, is I get um, either a mouse pad or I have a, a little pad that I use to punch all my my holes in. It's about it's about half an inch thick, thick, 
uh, it's a Stampin' Up uh, stamp pad, I think. And I popped up, let me get it, let me get it. There we go, so you see, you can see here where I've been doing all of my stitching holes, but I think it was actually meant as a stamping uh, pad. So I just sort of pop that underneath to make sure that I get a good stamp, a uh, good coverage, because I didn't want to dig out uh, a, stamp, a stamping platform because I really wanted to get over into the corners. So I started with this lovely stamp and then I went on to all of these gorgeous florals and I just started puzzling as to where they might beautifully fit together. So I use this gorgeous one that you can see here and here. Uh, I also use this one. Now this one you see is perfect because it could, it could also help me branch out as I wanted to do with the stamping as well. So you can see here and here. So to sort of bring it, bring it out. And then I brought in just in a couple of places, I brought in this stamp as well. Here and here. Uh, this one, of course, I continued on down by the side because it's really good for going and completing all of the sides. I hope that still gives you a little bit of an idea. Again, I, I apologize. I should have done it on camera with you, although I don't know that could have been a disaster. But now that I've done it once, I've practiced and I love the outcome, I will definitely come back and do the actual background with you. And then my friends, I just filled in in a few spots with this floral, this floral, and then this sort of leaf, just to sort of fill in some of the areas that were a little bit, that had a little bit too much white space for me. And there is my pattern paper, and I love it. Now, it's not as elegant or as beautiful, obviously, as a pre-made pattern paper or as the pattern paper that sort of gave me the inspiration. If you haven't seen Shannon's share, by the way, of that gorgeous kit, go on over. Oh, my God, that kit is to die for. Being frugal, though, being frugal. So there is my pattern paper on a white base. Both prompts taken care of. Here is my photo. We're going to put the photo down in this area. And then, honestly, this is not going to need too, too much in the way of embellishing. I think I'm going to put it sort of like this. Bring it over maybe a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Too, too much embellishing because, you know, the pattern paper is almost a, an embellishment on it, of and in itself. So I got a few bits out. I have uh, Today Was Fantastic from Bramble Fox. Beautiful day. I think I might use only one of the two because I want my title to simply be the story, which I will either pop here or on the photo. We'll see that together. A few lovely butterflies, uh, which I think I will use. I have one flare here from Hey Little Magpie. We'll see if that gets on there. Um, a little tab. This is from a Vicky Booten scrap that was on my desk that I thought we might bring in, although I'm not sure I want to bring in any of the craft. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, I have small details and a couple of florals, although I'm not convinced because we have so much there, I'm not sure I need to add any. Some of these gorgeous florals, I think they, they might each detract from one another. But we'll see. And I got two sequin mixes out. Lakeview, which is one of the new Spiegel Mom Scraps sequin mixes. And I brought that in for this gorgeous, gorgeous peachy color. And then my dot in around for the black 
and white, and I will use the darker, the black background with the white dots, uh, I think, if I use that. All right, so I think the first thing to do is to get some of these butterflies out because I think that I definitely want to use. And then that will help us decide where the title goes. Uh, now, do I want to bring the title out here? And then sort of bring that there. Would I use a darker one? I might want a darker one. Do I like that like that? I'm not sure, my friends. Or do I bring this over here? and then have the butterflies here. Yeah, I think I like that better. Yes, I think I definitely like that better. All right, so let's, let's not dilly-dally and let's get that down. Now, of course, um, Stamp It Like It's Hot is a series that we do, that I do with lots of my lovely scrappy friends. So the playlist for that series is done. Well, I can't wait to see what everybody does with that. There's so many lovely, lovely creatives playing along with this series. And I'm always blown away by the gorgeous, gorgeous project. So that playlist will be down below. And of course, Scrappy Sisters and Laura will have a video today. So will many, many others for Scrap Timber as well so that playlist will be down below as well so let's pop that there bring it over a little bit so that it's not too centered or do i want it over that way no over in here a little bit there we go the story i have two of these i got one i think in one of my um box boxes and then one in the summer uh, summer uh, class that I took. Okay, so the story. There we go. Let's get that. Now, I'm going to bring in some of these and let's pop. I definitely want one here and one here. Yeah. There we go. I think I want that there. All right, let's get a couple. I use these small. I don't, re I think I got through, I don't know how long I have had these little dimensionals, but I found them because I don't have any of my small, the mini uh, Stampin' Up dimensionals left. I think I have some on order coming because uh, I really do like the Stampin' Up dimensionals, but there you go. So let's pop that here there we go up on foam then we'll pop this one flying into the page up top there we go these are nicole jones 911 digi prints of course and the lovely butterflies there we go pop that up Okay, so I have that, so definitely, definitely like that. And then we may just put a few sequins there. Now, down here, do I want to bring some in down here? Maybe here? Together with one there. And then would I put... How about if I did something like that? Hmm, I kind of like this here for sure. Going up over a little bit. I do like that. Ah, then would I do something like this? And today, this goes out a little bit too far. Beautiful day. Now, see, this needs to be here. If it's going to go anywhere, it needs to be there. And therefore, what I do, this needs to go that way. 
Ah, there we go. How about if we did that? Yeah, okay, my friends, I like that. It's <laughs> fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. It, as I said, it really doesn't need a lot, but the, that background is so elegant. I quite, quite like how it came out. And I sort of just want a few little pieces to highlight everything. and not detract from either the background or the photo. So let's just pop this. How oh, did I get that? Did I put that there? Yeah, that's sort of what I did here. There we go. And then this one. Or do I want the paler one? Oh, no, maybe I want the darker one, but we might bring in one more butterfly. Let's see. There we go. Bring that sort of there. There we go. And do I want one more? I'm not sure we need another one, do we? Do we need another one, my friends, just to say that we have... here maybe there do we want one there hmm actually I do kind of like that and you see then here would be the perfect spot for a little bit of journaling if Julia wants to do any I'm not going to put any journaling lines but I I do think I'm going to put that little butterfly up there so let's put that there. Okay, I do think I'm going to do that. And then that sort of puts me out of my misery on having my five items. There we go. And not bringing this out too, too much down at the bottom. So there we go. All right. Now today was a fantastic day. Um, won't go on this one. Let's put some of the sequins in here and see if we just dot a few sequins around. I think I would like that. Okay, let's bring that in here and bring a few of these around. So I just want put one there and and white here. Let's bring that over. There we go. Put that there. We have a smaller one here. Let's bring this down here. It's not going to need many, but I do. black over on this side as well then let's bring one in there another little black one here bring that over there we go bring those two a little bit more together faffing just a little bit of sequin down here and then let's pop a couple up at the top a couple extra ones up at the top here just want one pop that in there and then i think maybe a couple more up here just to say that we brought it up a little bit. There we go. Let's see, I have a smaller one, which I'll bring there. Okay. And maybe one more. 
up there to bring it in there. So if I bring all of that sort of in there, do I want? Now let's see here, would this be cute in a couple of the flowers? Oh, maybe. Just in those? No, that doesn't really add anything, my friends, does it? No, it doesn't add anything. And then if I put sort of some there, I'm going to want some elsewhere. So let's not. Let's bring this one down here, though. Bring in. There we go. And let's not have any of these. Well, maybe that one, maybe just that one to say that I've popped something there to bring out extra sequins. Do I need that? And one here? No, 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 no. All right, my friends, I think that will do it. I'm fapping now, putzing about. So there you go. And I love this. So once the background was done, it really, as you can see, needs very, very little. Julia can do a little bit of journaling here, I think, might be, might be a nice idea. And the background probably took me, um, I guess, maybe half an hour to sort of place everything. That's sort of the, I, I guess, the longest part is to puzzle them together. And, and that's what I'll come and show you when I get my act together now and come and do one of these backgrounds with you, my friends. So thank you so, so much for being here. Scrap Timber is down below. Stamp It Like It's Hot is down below as well. And we are here on the first Saturday of every month with a different prompt every month as well. Thanks for being here, my friends. See you soon. Bye for now.